Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, I was scrolling through Twitter, uh, John Quakes is a guy who posts a lot of things and I'd like to share it on the channel. Um, what, what this is basically doing is, is if you're uranium bargain hunting for deeply discounted uranium mining stocks, then December 2nd, Bloomberg consensus estimate and price targets may help you find the most undervalued names in this recent market pullback. And they did a report and they've got these price targets. And I don't know what they use for the price targets, but I'm just going to share you what the Bloomberg consens consensus estimate and price targets are. Uh, you're going to lose me here. I'm going to open this up. Now, uh, we're going to hit on some of the ones that are the most undervalued, um, what they think are undervalued. They've, they have UEC being 77% under its price target. Uh, UR Energy is 107% under it, and Peninsula Energy is 50%. Those are ones that I think that stand out. Uh, Next Gen Energy is 62% uh, under its price target of 924. It's almost a, it, it's a good increase there. Uh, Fission Uranium is quite a bit under it at 85%. Global Atomic uh, is under it by 100%. They have a $7.30 price target on that. that that's impressive. Uh, American Lithium is 40% under. Goviax is 64% under. UEX, 74% under it. Um, these other ones, I would say, are kind of more fairly valued. Uh, Deep Yellow does not have a price target on it. <clears throat> uh, neither does Forces Metals, Western Uranium, uh, Energy Metals. They don't have any of the uh, price targets on it. There's another page here. Uh, ISO Energy and Encore Energy are both 70% uh, and 67% under, or 66%. Um, so that's, those are both very good. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Azimut Exploration, 124% under its price target. Uh, Consolidated Uranium is getting a nice 72% under its target. Sky Harbor's under it, 76%. Uh, Blue Sky Uranium's 109% under its price target. Anfield Energy is 60% and Pure Points 178% under its price target. They've got the inventory funds. Yellow Cake is 38% under and Sprout Physical is 56% under its price target. And Uranium Royalty is 40% under its price target. <clears throat> now, do, do, I, do I put a huge weight on these price targets? I don't. Uh, I really don't. And let me see here. The other one, if we just want to look at here, it says in situ comps, this is SEV per pound of U308. Uh, this is their ES USD uh, enterprise value divided by pound, which is your market cap. Uh, this is your enterprise value here. Here's your total reserves and resources that, that they have uh, here. So this is your, your, your dollar per pound um, calculation. And that's kind of what I, I lean a little bit towards that. And I see perhaps what that dollar per pound and some of these guys, if they can um, go from a developer to a producer, you're going to notice that your, your enterprise value per pound in the producer category is far greater than the developers usually. And then eventually these prices will migrate towards the producer price when the developers are developing their minds and get close to production status. So looking at some of these and looking at the EV per pound resource, the average here is $6.39 and the average here is $2.60. And the ones that I kind of overweighted myself, and this is just my opinion, is Goviax Uranium uh, because it's $0.81 cents a pound. Deep Yellow is $0.82 cents a pound. Bannerman is at uh, about a dollar a pound. Uh, so these are the ones that kind of I was going in. I have a little bit of UEX um, Corporation. I've got Laramide at $0.92 cents a pound. Notice that I'm going after kind of these ones around a dollar. Forces Metals is a, do a dollar or two cents a pound. And they may stay um, cheap in relationship to the other um, the, the other producers or and or developers uh, just based off of their location. So that that group may be a little bit cheap. And if it's a higher cost producer, they may uh, have a different pricing valuation in relationship to some of these lower cost producers. 
I, I am attracted to the higher cost producers because I'm a huge uranium bull. So right now, the, in my opinion, and what I do is I go after the higher cost stuff uh, that people are like, ah, they're not going to get whatever that they're not going to be, they shouldn't be priced with this, this group. Their, their assets are maybe not as good as something else. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking the contrarian bet. So I'm saying, I think we're going to have a massive uranium bull market coming up uh, from inflation and, and all the market conditions. Uh, and I, and I'm going to take, you know, some of my money and spread it amongst those developers uh, that aren't as in favor and are priced a little bit cheaper on the enterprise value per pound. So that's kind of the bet that I've been doing. Uh, doesn't mean I'm right. Does not mean I'm right. So let's go to the enterprise value on the second page just to kind of go over that. Um, we've got ISO Energy. I don't think they have anything uh, for, for value there, but $2.15 for Encore Energy. I do think that's a pretty good price. If you were to look at some of the United States uh, producers like Energy Fuels, they're getting priced at 961. You look at uh, UR Energy, that's at 656. So there's a possibility if Encore, which who has a very good team, if they if they get their their mines developed or their I think that they're doing in situ uh, mining, this could drastically go up uh, in enterprise value per pound. Uh, so you could easily see a three x potentially just in the revaluation of 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 nothing like the 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 uranium price can you know it's going to go up but you're going to get that developer to producer revaluation of a 3x potential uh, and they've got a really good team so I, I really do like encore energy looking at some of this elevate uh, elevate uranium looks really cheap at 63 cents a pound very cheap um and and i wouldn't solely base my investment decisions just on this number but some of them, I, I look at it, I take it into consideration, uh, and and you know, like consolidated uranium is really cheap at a, at a dollar thirty one if they've got a hundred hundred million pounds. Sky Harbor is getting a little bit expensive, but they can obviously find a lot more. Um, here's Forum Energy, right there, thirty one seventy five. They don't have too much in there. Appia Energy, sixty six cents a pound, uh, and they, and they got the rare earths. Uh, Anfield's pretty cheap at 64 cents a pound. Valer Metals is a dollar. I don't know too many of these down here uh, and what these companies are necessarily. They must be pretty small. And then here's, obviously, they're, they're, they're buying stuff for spot price, so it's not really relevant to the discussion here. But I wanted to touch on on this to get you guys a little bit more dialed in on maybe some of the companies that that you might want to go into. Um, my opinion, like, you know, looking at some of these companies and the ones that, that I like, I still like the African crew, so to speak. Um, something like a deep yellow, uh, has me really interested. Encore energy still has me interested. Uh, uranium royalty corp is, is probably a, a decent one. If you like that, you want more of a royalty. Um, and the reason I, I go after like deep yellow is they've got a team that's already done this before and you're paying 82 cents enterprise value per pound that just seems like it's like it's a pretty good deal I, I mean that's that's me and i'm gonna bet on on john borshoff if he's done it before and he's got a, a pretty good team with him well, why wouldn't i i mean it's cheap they've got a team that's done it before and and hopefully they can uh get this thing off the ground and we get a you know a good long pull during this uh uranium bull market fingers crossed you know nothing's nothing is a a, a, a for sure thing but if you're going to reduce it, your, your risk, I would bet on, on Deep Yellow myself and Encore Energy. They've got very good teams, very good management, very good CEOs. Why not? That's kind of where I'm at. If you guys like this uh, analysis, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.